In this video, I am going to be breaking down how Joke runs the best defense in Madden 21. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what I do, my name is Cody, and basically my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. So if you're looking to become a better Madden player as I am, go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Now, this is a game that I haven't broken down too, too much, but I'm actually really excited to dive in here and talk a little bit about why Joke did what he did and what we can take away from this and kind of learn from both his mistakes but also his his positive sides um, to him. Now, John Beast is probably the player that came out of the club championships that really was a wild card. Now, not very many people expected him to do as good as he did, but ultimately John Beast played a phenomenal, phenomenal game and really did a great job and made a name for himself in this tournament. So I'm actually very, very excited about this breakdown because I think it's going to give you some insight into kind of what John Beast was doing and some of the things that you can learn from him. So all that to say, joke also um, is kind of known as one of the most innovative, creative, and probably most dominant defensive players in Madden tournament history. And the reason why is because he always has something special. He always just, you ever watch jokes games, they are always low scoring, and he always does a very, very good job of both mixing up his play calls and really understanding, having an awareness to be able to handle a lot of what the meta offenses are doing and this game is no different we're going to watch some film here and kind of talk through some things but one of the things that joke was doing was he was running 335 335 wide now joke was actually i believe running the ravens playbook so that he could go from 245 double a gap into the 335 wide um I personally thought that was a mistake by him. I think that the real reason he wanted to run that playbook was so that he could take advantage of Dime 146 in key situations. But the problem with that is his 335 wide was so good. And when you have something that is that powerful, it doesn't always make sense to me to go out in something different. What I would rather do is master one formation. And you see, Joke runs 335 wide probably 80 to 85% of his play calls in this game. But. He doesn't run it in the most important down of the game, which ends up costing him his tournament uh, tournament life. So, all that to say, I want to dive deep into two specific setups that he was utilizing out of his out of his uh, defense in this 335 wide. I want to go over a man coverage setup, and I also want to go over a man blitzing setup that he used to really take John Beast's offense off the field a lot. And to be honest with you, this kind of will get overshadowed. Most people don't realize how good of a defensive player Joke really is and what you can really take away from this, especially as we transition into the Madden Classic and as we transition into some of the other game modes that you're going to be seeing. Um, Joke is truly probably the best defensive player still. Um, the only other player that I think is even comparable to him is Henry. And so that being said... Um, let's let's dive into let's dive into his defense. So I have this loaded up as the 46 playbook. The reason why is because I think it's more effective doing the same concept, um, but we're going to do it from the 46 playbook just because I think it gives a little bit more um, effectiveness. And we're going to talk about a couple of things that he did that I thought was really really smart. Um, so all that to say, we're going to dive right in here. And again. Um, uh, John Beast was running the gun bunch. Now, he, in this specific tournament, he was running it out of the Carolina book, but in the later edition, he was actually switched over to, I believe, the Jets playbook. So, uh, first and foremost, for the coaching adjustments. Now, this is what Joke does that is different than what most people do. Joke will play like this. He puts his flats on 25, and his curl flats on 5, and his hooks on 5. That's how Joke plays, and the reason why is because he believes that flat zones, meaning the light blue zones, they play a lot better than the purple zones, okay? Just the way they play routes, he believes that they play a lot better. So that's why he does that. From an audible perspective, he doesn't do anything that much crazier than anybody else. It's going to be 335 into 335 wide for me. Um, the way he would do it and the way he was doing it in this is he was coming out, I believe, in 335 odd and audibling into, or maybe it might have been 245 odd and audibling into 335 wide. That was only for, for the same reason. It's just to get better personnel on the field uh, within within everything. So all that to say, we're going to dive right in here. And again, he, I'm going to go over two specific setups. Both are relatively easy setups uh, to set up. But, as it's, again, it comes back to your user and understanding your responsibility and also calling the right play at the right time. So, cover two man, Mike Blitz, oh, 
Cover 4, Show 2, and Mike Blitz 3. Now, really quick before we dive too deep into this, you'll see that I've subbed safeties in at the linebacker position. The other thing that I want to remind you of is if you are... Um, if you want to get more about this this defense, if you want to get the full defensive ebook, that link is in the description of this video. So if you want to get that link, it's literally in the description. Okay, so we're going to dive right in here and show you two specific setups that I used that I thought was really really good. And this is a popular strategy for people that run gun bunch, and people don't really expect this. But when they face something like three three five wide, it's very common for them to go to this bench pivot play and to basically streak the 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 slot receiver, and that's pretty much the setup, right? Now, what Joke did that I thought was really, really good was he would go to this Mike Blitz O play, and he would spread his line, crash his line out, and then the thing that he did that I thought was super, super smart, he would bring this guy down off the edge here, and he would blitz him from time to time. He wouldn't always do it, but he would blitz him from time to time. Now, from there, uh, what he would do is he would shade coverage outside and over top, and you would basically see, uh, essentially what this is, is a six-man pressure. And the snap of the ball, if they block the running back, you're going to see you're going to get instant pressure at the quarterback. As you can see right there, the running back blocking does not pick up this blitz. That's what makes it so good. Because he can, you know, John Beast and a lot of people that run gun bunch, especially when they face uh, this defense, you know, they think they can basically do something like this. Now, what I would even almost recommend would be to do something like this, where Joke brings both of these guys down into the box quite a bit. Now, you might not have enough time to do that pre-snap, but again, all we're doing is we're just sending that pressure right off the edge. It's just a plus one, and as you can see right here, again, instant pressure at the quarterback. It's a six-man pressure against six-man blocking, but you're getting plus one. You're getting one person free. Now, let's say you wanted to gas them up even more uh, than that. You could do something like this. You could bring King off the edge right here, right? And let's say they max protect. Right, so let's say they block the tight end as well. So I'm going to block the tight end and the running back now. And what I'm going to do on the defense side is I'm just going to do this blitz right here, bring him down, and basically this guy is going to be man coverage onto the slot when I bring him down like that. And now what I've created is kind of a double edge type of scenario. And you'll see if it's max protect, we still get pressure in at the quarterback. 335 wide is like that. It's super, super adaptable. And that's what Joke likes about it, and that's what Joke mastered about this defense, was he was able to adapt. He was able to innovate. He was able to quickly change on the fly when he needed to. And so those are some of the things that he did that I thought was super effective from a blitzing perspective. Now, when you combine that blitzing strategy with what he did uh, from a man coverage strategy, it actually makes a lot of sense. So we're going to do the same exact coverage, but this time, what we're going to do is we're going to do it just like this. So you're going to see we're going to run the same thing. It's going to Now we're in cover two man, and take a look at what we're doing. We're bringing that deep half off the edge here. We're going to shade coverage down, shade coverage outside. And then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to man up on the tight end, just like so. And then this, from, from type, this type of look right here, oftentimes what we would see Joke do would be some type of purple zone onto this side of the field. Uh, to the to that side to take away basically crossing routes and things like that. So two man rush, and as you'll see here, you know pretty much everything's taken away. Your user in the middle. It looks exactly like the man pressure that we were running from Mike Blitz O, but now it's coming from uh, a coverage perspective. Now another little thing that I thought Joke did that was actually really really smart. Um, I just thought this was really really smart. This is another setup that you could do from this. So let's say you do this coverage right here, right? Now what you could do if you wanted to is you could man up for a net with that nose tackle, and then you could man up the tight end with the, with, the, with the player over there. Make sure you pass commit, and then you could take that linebacker on the left side, and you could put him into a purple zone now. Now you have, might have a little bit better coverage, but what you're also going to have is you're going to have a ton better pressure off those double edges coming free. If those are double or nothings, if they have abilities on them, um, you're going to be able to really make a play. So... All that to say, this is the best defense of Madden. It truly is. Joke runs it super, super well. And in my opinion, if you actually go back and watch, you're going to think to yourself, man, if this guy would have brought a couple better decision making, a little bit better offensive game planning, he would have won this game. Joke's defense is unreal good. It's unreal good. I cannot express to you how good of a defense this is. 
And this 3-3-5 wide defense is so good that I wrote an entire ebook on it. So if you want to get that ebook on the defense, that link is in the description. We've been running this since June. It's been the best defense for that long, and right now the Madden community is really, really buying into this defense. So again, if you have not picked it up yet, you're going to be yourself a disadvantage. I want to make sure you have the best defense to be able to stop what anyone would do to you. And so again, that link is in the description of this video. Now if you want to get a free sample of that defense, about a 55-minute introductory sample video, that is in my text message membership, which you can sign up for today. It's completely free to sign up. Literally, all you got to do is text me. My phone number is in the description. It's also on the top left-hand corner of your screen. So make sure to just shoot me a text message. Let me know you'd like to either sign up for the membership or you'd like to sample video to the defense, and I will respond to you as soon as I can. Again, it is my personal phone number, so you can hit me up and ask me any Madden questions that you want. But all that to say, guys... Joke's defense was not the reason he lost. It was 100% on his offense. Joke's defense is absolutely insanely good. He's able to stop the run. He's able to stop the pass. He's able to send pressure. He's able to play coverage. And had he stayed in 3-3-5 wide the entire game, I believe he would have won this game against John Beast. Now, John Beast is a great player in his own right, but I just want you to take away from this video, again, if you want to get that 3-3-5 wide defensive guide, that link is in the description of this video. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful, and we'll see you on tonight's stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time.